Your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Well, good evening and welcome back in. Check this out. The home view tonight looking fantastic. A nice little sunset breaking in for us, too. And you can see on a couple of the cameras here, we have it turned towards the trees, which are changing colors quickly. And we're starting to get close to the peak time of fall. Take a look at this fall foliage update here from Explore Fall, showing that most of northern parts of the bluegrass are in that moderate to high color range. We're about a week and a half, maybe two weeks away from that peak time. And you know how it is. You blink and it's gone. So try to enjoy that here over the course of the next couple of days. We're going to have a little bit of a gloomy forecast, but there are some nicer days in there, much like what we had today, where you'll be able to enjoy those fall colors. Currently, temperatures sit in the mid 60s in Lexington. We got 61 Moorhead, Mount Sterling, and Danville, 64 Beattyville, McKee, and Somerset here this evening. Temperatures reached a peak of the mid to upper 60s. We had a high of 67 so far in Lexington. So overall, better than where we were still, just about or below average for us by a few degrees. We've had a clear sky, lots of sun here today, but the cloud cover is gonna slowly work back for us. We've got a low working through the upper Midwest. You can see all the rotation with it in the satellite loop. You can see the rain along the cold front. That's all working its way to us. That is what the next big thing is going to be here for us heading into tomorrow. Watch as it comes through. Clouds increasing as we get into our Thursday. This is noon on Thursday, and we're seeing the chance for some spotty showers, according to Futurecast. Better chances as the cold front gets closer, though, 5 p.m. and later for some moderate to maybe even pockets of heavy rainfall. We can't even rule out an isolated thunder chance in there. Maybe just a brief little rumble or two as this line of showers and possibly storms comes in. Moderate to heavy rainfall at times. Overnight, even into early Friday morning, some scattered showers rotate around the backside of this low. We're going to continue to see spotty rain chances through the afternoon on Friday as well. And then as we head into Friday night, get a little bit of clearing. But a third wave is going to try to come in for early Saturday and we can't rule out some spotty rain chances on there as well with some mix of cloud cover throughout the day. Right now, Futurecast suggesting at least half of our viewing area could be under clouds for the majority of our Saturday. We're talking overall rainfall totals anywhere from a quarter to a half of an inch for the most part. Some areas could see some isolated higher totals than that. It's all going to depend upon how well and efficient those rain showers come in. Then on the other side of that, it is going to be breezy. Check out the winds as this front comes through. We're talking gusts out of the south upwards of 30 plus miles an hour. And then as that front passes, 25 to 30 miles an hour, changing from the south to the west as that front comes through. That seven day forecast is going to open up to a nicer weather for you though. On the back side of this Saturday, still on the warmer side of things, we kind of go down and then back up quickly and then back down into the Sunday before we climb towards a chance at 70 by early next week.